Hello everyone, Witty Games here, and welcome to Water Womb World, a horror game by a developer called Yames, who's probably one of my favorite developers in the horror scene right now. His art style and his sound design are just creepy in this uncanny and deadpan way that just makes it all the more unsettling. And so I thought I'd do a playthrough of one of my favorite games of his, Water Womb World. So yeah, let's get into it. Though I am a Christian man, I have long forsworn any contentment in its primitive superstitions, the mysticism, the rituals. I know they're all articulations of a deeper material fact. In older times, it was seen that the order of the scientific world and the perception of God's plan confirmed each other in every turn. Well, I still believe this to be the case, although in quite an unorthodox way. My lifelong work has been to find the origin point of man's fall from grace. It has taken me all over the world, but I believe I am closer than ever to finding the truth. I am heading deep into the ocean, into a region called Gasper's Zone. I have everything I need in my submersible lab. I hope to find some answers soon. Soon I will tread out on the holy seabed, where the spirit blew life into the increate mantle. I have lit my path with the submersible's lights. It is a blessed day. Before I leave, I ought to fill up my tank and grab some nets for specimen collection. I'm going to need both if I'm going to do my research. All right, let's uh, refill the tank. All right, perfect, and replenish my nets. I'm looking pretty good. <laughs> Same. With everything prepared, let's head out. Even with my lights, it is still quite dark out here. Well, as long as they are on, I'm sure I'll be fine. I just have to remember that the entrance back into the lab is in the furthest south spot. I hope to find some good specimens here, whether by sifting through the silt or netting some fish. I must remember that the live specimens will try to evade me, but I should not give up hope as they cannot swim too far away. I must also remember that if I sift at one position, it would be a waste to sift there again until later. I should try and find one live sample via my net, and also two from sifting. That should su be sufficient for now. Time to begin. May God guide me. Alright, let's sift through the silt. Didn't find anything. I'll keep looking. I found a post-Lapsarian Adamite skull. It looks quite old. It may reveal something. I will study it when I get back to the lab. Alright, let's go this way. I didn't find anything. I'll keep looking. Ooh! Did I get it? Got him. I'll check out this specimen when I get back to the lab. <laughs> I caught something. A dive mask. Likely an older make by the looks of it. It only has one large window to see from. Might be worth looking at back at the lab. I have been blessed with a bounty to research. It is time to go back to the lab and begin. I can barely contain my excitement. All my life's work has led up to this moment. Even though I've been down here but briefly, I can feel God working in my heart and opening my mind. The original sin of man, the original temptation, was that God opening the mind too? I am alone here, but I feel the comfort of the Holy Spirit and a, connect a connectedness to all things. The human being was made in the image of God, a divine mirror of creation that was made imperfect by our sin. I can feel it sometimes in the strangeness of my body, as if I was once connected to the source and severed from it. It was as if I was once a thing rooted in a vaster hole, but I was violently removed and left to float freely by my own. Well, as I've said, I should get to work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, back to work there, pal. <laughs> get back to work. Uh, let's research. Atomite skull. Fascinating. This person was extremely close to the source of Genesis, to the birth of all creation. They lived to be very, very old. 
and have only just a trace of degeneration. The bone density, yes, one of the pillars of aquaedenic studies, is that early man lived underwater. Countless generations have passed since such a time, and the form the sons of Adam take now is very different. I can only imagine what it looked like to be so pure, so near the state of grace. I love the sound design. Like this music going on right now is fantastic. I'll load up the next sample. This mask would prove that I'm not the first one to explore Gasper Zone. However, this area is entirely remote, meaning whoever was here was here for a purpose. Judging by the crucifixes on the strap, I imagine explorers were sent here by the church. There are certain divisions in the Papal Conclave who are in the know, but some would prefer to occlude the truth from the world. Were these explorers eliminated by more traditional factions? And what did they discover? Where are they now? I'll take a look at the next sample. Amazing. This fish may have very well been alive during the time of the pre-deluge patriarchs. This very well may confirm the theory of Gaspar's zone being located in or around Edenic ground. But how? Some of suspension of space-time? Or some biological deceleration of the aging process? I must conduct a more intensive search. Extensive search, sorry. Soon, I should go out for more samples. What was that? A whale? It sounded even bigger. I should go check outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what that sound means. 100%, 100%. Uh, refill tank, uh, replenish nets. Uh, mirror? Mirror? I can't, oh, I can't look in the mirror. All right, guess we'll head out. The lights are out, but something stirs in me. Oh Lord, even in this darkness, I know you are with me. Your word is a light to my feet and a lamp to my path. Guide me. There he is. Son of Adam, I beseech thee. Your forebears abandoned the tree of life and ate of the fruit of knowledge. You walk a contrary path. You will leave this place or you will exchange one life for another, die as a man, or join God in full flesh. To hear the voice of your God is to return, originward, back into the womb where words would fail. Know this now. I am but his created messenger. This is all I know. Son of Adam, I beseech thee. I beseech thee. I beseech thee. An angel? Yep, that's what that was, 100%. An emissary of the Lord. Amazing. The visage even matches the description in the deciphered Genesis Apocryphon. To see such sight, can it be possible? But what did their message mean? Full flesh in God. I can't postpone my search any longer. I'm closer than ever and I will find the truth. Or you could leave. <laughs> or you could leave. <laughs> Get out of there while you still can. I must find more samples. All right then. Uh, tank is full. Nets are replenished. Ah, I'm looking good. All right. Time to change it up. Two live specimens and one object in the silt. I feel as if I barely even need this oxygen underwater anymore. An interesting proposition. I am closer to God than ever. Oh! I thought I had it. Got him! I'll check out this specimen when I get back to the lab. Alright, let's sift the silt while we're here. Interesting. This coral's color is similar to the red pigmentation I found in that ancient fish. I should collect it. Absolutely you should. Ooh! That's not what I wanted. I'll refill my tank while I'm here though. 
Got him. I'll check out this specimen when I get back to the lab. To the lab! I ought to go back to the lab to begin my research. To the lab! It has been interesting, swimming down here. The dark and gloom is almost a comfort to me. It shouldn't be. I don't have thalassophobia, but I know no it's not safe down here. I'm reminded of Moses seeing God in the luminous dark. The undifferentiated infinitude, incomprehensible to the created mind. But I believe I can know God, and I will know God. We'll see, I guess. It is strange. Perhaps it is just exhaustion from my swimming. But I feel a bit dizzy. A beatific lightness has entered my mind. That's not good. There should be no beatific lightness entering anything or anyone. The knowledge I've gained over the years seems to fly from me. Just at the moment I am learning the ultimate truth. Well, there's nothing to do but press on. Alright, let's research. Deathless fish. This fish is even older. Amazing. Almost impossible. There's some common link between this life form and our own. I notice as well this fish, as well as the others, are lacking eyes. Not unheard of among fish of the deep ocean, but even blind fish can sense the difference between light and darkness. These fish lack that capacity completely. And more of that odd coral in the gut. What does it mean? There must be some thing. All of a sudden I feel so old, impossibly old. The Ancient of Days. Time seems to spiral out in front of me, the divine plan imprinted in all things. How old is it? This fish seems to have been close to the origin of life itself. I'll take a look at the next thing. What does it mean? Studded with proto-human neuron, hyper-capable of creating consciousness field, womb of god, error, error, error. I can barely read this. My own sight seems to be failing. Perhaps decompression sickness. But it seems greater than that. Like the symbols of the world are falling from their place. I feel so. The lights. Another angel. Oh lord, I feel your love. <laughs> I don't think that's the Lord. I don't think that's I don't think that's what's happening here. You doing okay, pal? <sighs> the sound design is so creepy. I love this game. tank no need all right nets no need i love this it's so it's not jump scary it's just atmospheric this is why i love yames's games i am Must find it. Oh, my hands. Feed on coral. art style and the sound is so creepy join now it's almost lovecraftian 
this game. A game by Yames. And that's it. <laughs> that's the game. So that was Water Womb World. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love Yames' stuff. And if this is your first time seeing his games, uh, go check him out. He just released a new game, I believe, on Itch.io. Uh, if you guys want to see me play that, uh, maybe leave a comment down below and I'll check it out. I love his stuff. It's just... It's horrifying in a, in such a different way than other horror games are. And I just, I love it. And his art style is so unique. And I, I don't, I can't think of anyone working in the game, in the game field, especially the horror game field that has a style quite like that. Um, so with that, that's the video. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you enjoy all of my videos. Uh, I have a main YouTube channel and I have a Twitch channel, various other things. Links to those are in the description. Also, you can check out the short film that I co-directed and wrote um, uh, over on my main channel. That is also linked down below. And I'll see you guys in an upcoming video. And cut! <laughs>